For this problem, we are going to sketch the graph of the ellipse given by x minus 1 squared plus 9 times y plus 5 squared equals 81. Here we have the standard equation of an ellipse. First, we need to get our equation into standard form. The first step is to get the right-hand side equal to 1. So we're going to divide both sides by 81. After reducing the fractions, we are left with x minus 1 squared over 81 plus y plus 5 squared over 9 equals 1. The last step is to rewrite both of the denominators so that we have x minus 1 squared over 9 squared plus y plus 5 squared over 3 squared equals 1. Now that we have our equation in standard form, we know that a is equal to 9 and will be horizontal since it is underneath the x, b equals 3 and will be vertical since it is underneath the y, and the center is at 1, negative 5. Now we will plot the relevant points. The center is at 1, negative 5, and the major axis points will be 9 to the left, and 9 to the right of the center. So the first point is at negative 8, negative 5, and the second point is at 10, negative 5. The minor axis points will be 3 above and 3 below the center. So the first is at 1, negative 2, and the second point is at 1, negative 8. Now we will connect the points that gets an ellipse that looks like this. In addition, we can also find the foci. We can do this by using the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared, where c represents the distance from the center on the major axis. So for this problem, we have 9 squared minus 3 squared, which is equal to 72. So c is equal to the square root of 72, which is roughly about 8.49. So the two focus points will be negative 7.49, negative 5, and 9.49, negative 5. Now we will plot the two focus points, and this completes the problem.